One is it saying frittata? <laughs> what do you cook when you got nothing in the fridge? Well, today we've got the answer for you. A golden potato and caramelised onion frittata. <laughs> it's easy, delicious and fun to say and adaptable to whatever you have at home. For this segment, we've partnered with Coles and to share her delicious recipe, Coles ambassador, Courtney Ralston. Hey, hey. Courtney. Hello. Courtney, Courtney the days frittata. frittata. Yes, <laughs> yes that's to get right. it into a sentence. This is, <laughs> this is, this is going to be the end product. Can you yes. help us get there? It's, it's very easy. Mm. Very, very easy. Um, so this is all in one pan. All done in one pan, 30 mm. minutes. So all I've done is we're using Charisma potatoes for this. Mm. Charisma potatoes are great. They're all rounded potatoes. Uh, there's no peeling. They've got a really nice thin skin. Yeah. So there's no prep, which is which is perfect. They're like Larry, thin skin. Thin skin. Yes. And you loads of charisma. <laughs> <laughs> So close. You've, you've just complimented him and... Uh, damn. Yeah, damn it, Kylie. Um, Kilos of charisma. Right? And, and they're 25% less carbs. So See? If See? Was, if, if you missed was, so much good gear oh. then. Yeah. If Larry was a potato, it would be the charisma <laughs> potato. <Hang on>. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar. The similarity, so They've got the same haircut yeah, as well. So let's get on with it. Sorry, enough of, enough of Larry. So all we do with the potatoes is I just cut them into cubes, so into threes and then yeah. into, into a dice, and you leave the skin on. All the goodness skin is Skin on. Them. Skin on. Mm. And then I've put them in a pan with some oil, and you cook them until they go like little crispy cuby chips. Yes, I how may have tested them already. How long? It's just by themselves, you've got other stuff you, in you there? You give them about eight minutes on their on own. On their own, OK. Just like Larry, they need a bit of me time. Mm. Yes, and then, between 9 and 11.30, <laughs> yeah. preferably. And then you add in an onion, and mm -hmm. the onion yes. caramelises with the potatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A clove of garlic, and then I've put in a big handful of kale. Yum. But the best thing about frittatas is anything. If you've got spinach in your crisper that needs yeah, using, yeah, yeah. if you've got... Zucchinis, anything can broccoli? pretty much go in. Broccoli, in broccoli, yeah, okay. Frozen peas, if you've got nothing. Literally, Great. frittatas are the perfect. You okay. Know, when you've got nothing. How many potatoes would you use to this uh, quantity? That's about 700 grams, which was about three large Larry okay. potatoes <laughs> in there. A large Larry. A large Larry mm. potato. Then for the frittata mix, mm. I've got eight eggs, some parmesan cheese to nice. season that up. Nice. About 100 mils of milk. Mm -hmm. So everyone's probably got this stuff. Can you swap at home. the milk out if you need to. Uh, you, no, that's, I'm using oat milk. You, can oh, use, you yeah. could use almond milk. You could, uh, you know, you can get all kind of dairy-free cheeses mm -hmm. as well if you don't want to use the parmesan cheese. Okay. Yeah. And because everything's already warm in there, all we do is pour. Is that, that it? That is you it. You just made it for a tartar. We've made a frittata. This is like 25 minutes. It's about 10 minutes with the potatoes and the onions and the kale. Yeah. And, and you then don't you... skimp with the eggs because you have eight of them in there. So don't be... Eight don't... eggs, about yeah. two eggs per person. And that's, that's good. Yeah. Like frittatas are any time of the day. These are breakfast, mm. brunch, lunch, dinner. You can pack this. Kids' lunch boxes. I think we've done that. We've done a frittata for dinner and then you're happily having it the next morning for breakfast. Yeah, because yeah. it's like the eggs are the protein, the potatoes yeah. are giving us some carbs. Mm. Um, and, and you kind of half stir fry it at this point. So because everything's warm, the eggs cook really, really quickly. quickly. Mm. Potatoes are cooked. And it's not going anywhere. It's not going in the oven or anything. Is I, I finish it in the oven. But oh, literally, you do? if you didn't want to turn your oven on, yeah. cost of electricity at the yeah. moment, you mm. can literally turn it down really low and put a lid on it. Put a lid on and it, it yes. And it will just about eight minutes just to set those eggs. And, and then, then, here's the thing. How do you get it out of the pan in one lot like that? Well, it's, eggs naturally will puff up as they cook. That's mm -hmm. what rises in cakes. And then as you just let it sit for five minutes, it shrinks and it takes itself naturally away from the pan. And then all I've done is flip it over. So just leave it alone, Kylie. That's so don't thing. be too quick to try and get it out of the pan once no, you're finished. No, just okay. give it, it five, just give it five that's minutes. That's a really important tip because I've been trying to lift it out. Yeah, and then to zhuzh it up, just to zhuzh, mm -hmm. I've done a little salad just with some lemon. Lemon and potatoes are a good mix. Parsley, some lemon Can juice. Can we have a taste? How, yeah, how do yeah, we do yeah. it? Let's cut in. Oh, what, what, you've got some rind in there. Is that lemon rind? Lemon rind, yeah. yeah. I think lemon and potatoes and eggs is a really good mix. Yeah. And then literally this is it. And you can, as I said, like in Spain you get this as a little tapas dish. Yeah. If you want to take this to a picnic. It ticks so many boxes. Kylie, let me great. You let's want have that? a go. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And there we go. One for Kylie. I'm going to look into my crisper this evening and see what's in there and see what I can add. Yum. Wilted celery? That was it? No. Oh, you could you could give it a go. <laughs> I was trying to think what's in there. There was I, some really I, sad celery, yeah. but I just couldn't try it out last well, night. We could go to Coles and get all the good stuff, Coles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, lovely to see you. This is, this is beautiful. This is really nice. This Thank you. This segment was brought to you by Coles, who does not have sad, saggy no. celery. They have beautiful, crisp <laughs> celery. And you can find the full recipes over on our website. Thank you, Courtney. Lovely Thanks, to see Courtney. you. Pleasure. It's